Hello, welcome to HiCut Short Clip. In this video, I would like to show you interesting new features in the field of sheet metal. First, I would like to introduce the more or less cleaned up ribbon sheet metal. This change is owed to the fact that, for example, here with regards to trimming, we have a new summarized representation of functions which used to be in the ribbon but now they are combined in this dialog. In addition, it is easier to identify the edges which we want to select and also the preview. We can see this right here. It is more explicit. We can easily identify the edges and I see the difference when the gap increases by enhancing the value from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 and I can easily take over this modification. The same thing applies to corner mitre. This means that I do not have to start two operations separately. In this case, this is also combined and I can start both from this dialog and enhance it. In this case, I want to close the edge from this edge to this edge. And here I already see the preview. By the way, I could also edit the clearance here and take all of our modifications. As a next step, and here's a hint, by the way, here used to be the bending simulation located in this pull-down of the extras. Now this is separately listed next to the extras. To show you the new feature, I would like to apply a coating on this sheet metal. For this, I open the sheet area and create a new sectional view. In the sectional view, we could set that the coating should be displayed. So here is the option available. And if the option is ticked, we can display the coated area within the sectional view. The view used to be in 2D, but now I have the option to rotate it. So I can apply a perspective and I still see the area on which the coating has been applied. So far, this has been the new feature for the coating. In the next step, I would like to show another feature, namely that the molding tools have been enhanced in so far as that you have the option to create molding tools on your own. I assume that you are already familiar with these molding tools, which now can be applied also in the sheet metal. For instance, we can do this with a conical hole. Maybe we could pull down the coating a little bit so that the conical hole will be coated too. Yeah, and as already mentioned, the molding tools can be created individually. Of course, the explanation for creating all molding tools can be found in our online help. And at this point, I would like to create a new sheet to show you this new option, namely which mode I could apply when attaching a flange. Okay, so, and here I can choose the mode, for example, the bending zone, or I can also choose the milling edge zone, which is, for example, used for the composite zone in the facet engineering. Here we already have a preview of the tool, which I have chosen with 90 de degree. And of course, we could choose another angle via the catalog and as you see corresponding to this the preview is updated. 
We could also add these tools to the sheet development so that the tools will be shown there. Let us have a look at the development of our first part because additionally we want to, for example, do a subsequent change. Um, we could take the acute corner into consideration, which we can apply here and also here and as you can see everything is also locked in the feature lock of the sheet development we could either delete or deactivate a few steps to get the original processing back okay that's it thank you for your attention bye